I'm inside the School District 2 warehouse where you can find any number of things that our city's children need. Down this aisle, you'll find boxes and boxes of food that Ginny Mermel is packing for middle school and high school pantries for kids to take home on the weekends. But now there's another concern, as many families will start having to pay for school breakfast and lunches again. They are really getting crunched from all sides. The last two years have been a godsend for many low-income families, with COVID-19 funds providing free school lunch to every student. I've scupped plenty of chicken. But that program is now gone, and many will notice. If you've shopped, you know that people that earn less than you are, are having that much more difficult of a time. For the upcoming school year, Billings Elementary lunches will cost $2.90 per meal, with middle and high schools costing $3.10. Breakfast will cost $1.50 at each, and there's an extra 60 cent charge for milk. We raised our, our lunch prices just a small amount this year, you know, to try to keep up with inflation, but not nearly at that rate. With a 180 day school calendar, if an elementary school student eats breakfast and lunch every day with milk, that comes out to $900 a year, slightly more for middle and high schoolers. Two for the Career Center, one for West. Mermel sees one part of the population specifically vulnerable. Families that are in that category of reduced price school meals. The Billings School District offers a free and reduced meal program. To qualify for free meals, a family of four needs to earn at or below the federal poverty level. To qualify for reduced meals, that family can earn no more than $51,375. Reduced meals do come at a significant discount, just 30 cents for breakfast and 40 cents for lunch. But just that, plus milk, is $234 a year. Add multiple kids and it becomes an expense you have to budget for, one many might not be expecting. I think you forget that, on, oh, on top of this inflation, I now have to start providing lunch and breakfast for my kids. And then they'll get one of each of these boxes. And while some of these costs may raise eyebrows, Taylor says what the school offers can often be a bargain in today's world. We try to do the best nutritious meal for a, for a student and really are conscious of what we charge the, the parents for those meals because it's not like a, we're making a huge profit doing this. They're just trying to stay afloat, like so many others. In Billings, Casey Conlon, MTN News.